Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have five bonus niches for you guys that you guys can be working on right now. All right, so in today's video, I wanna go ahead and answer a question that was posed to me by somebody in a prior or following a prior video. And they had specifically inquired about this font here, though the question I suppose would apply to any fonts. I am on Creative Fabrica right now, and they have a bunch of free fonts and, of course, fonts that you can buy through their subscription. And the cool thing about these fonts is we can download them and we can upload them onto Canva and we can use them in any of our print-on-demand designs. And so the question about this particular font was, well, when I download it and then I upload the font, it's just black. And they want to know how they can go about getting this cool design style here where you get that sort of half leopard print, half purple kind of style. And so I'm going to show you my way of going ahead and sort of recreating that style. Um, and so the first thing you would do when you pick your font is just go ahead and download the font. Now, when you download it, it will be a zip file. So you will have to go ahead and open that zip file. And then you're just going to drag and drop um, the, the font right into your downloads. Um, and then once it's there, we can go ahead and we could jump over to Canva and I'll show you how we can go ahead and upload that. So now that I am on Canva's homepage here, I would go ahead and just start with a blank page. So I would go to the right hand side, hit custom size. I'm going to select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is my standard t-shirt uh, size. Um, and it will ensure that when I print on a shirt, it does print at above 300 DPI. And so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull up a text box by hitting T on the keyboard. That will pull up your text box. Now you can write anything you want, or you can go ahead and just save it as is. For this, let's go ahead and just write Mardi Gras. There we go. And make it nice and big. Perfect. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our font section. So I'm going to click there. And at the bottom, what you'll see is a little tab. It'll say upload a font. Now I can click on upload a font and it will pull up fonts for me to upload. So I can go to my downloads and it's going to show me all the fonts that um, I've downloaded. And then from there I can search for it or if it comes up on the front or at the top, that's cool too. And I can go ahead and hit my leopard Mardi Gras and I can open that. Um, a screen will usually pop up saying, please confirm the following that you acknowledge that you own, um, you know, the right to use it. Um, and I can hit yes, upload anyways. And it'll take a second, but it'll go ahead and upload that font. And then what'll happen is that font should be saved um, at the top. So you'll see sort of your uploaded fonts here. And so it'll be saved in your uploaded fonts. You'll have to scroll down to it because this, these are gonna be in alphabetical order, or you can always just search for it up here. So if I know the name of the font and it was Leopard Mardi Gras, I can go ahead and just put in Leopard Mardi Gras. And I can click that. All right. So once I've got my Mardi Gras, uh, the easiest thing to do if I'm doing a pattern and a solid is just going to be to change the color of the word so that the solid is whatever color I want. So in this case, half of the text was purple. So I can go ahead and just select a purple color that I want for my font. And so I can do it that way. If, on the other hand, I wanted to split this and have it be two different clipping masks, such as like maybe a texture, then what I would do would be to, you know, pretty much put a mask side by side on, on each letter to create two different masks. But because I really only need one mask, I really only need the leopard print, and then the rest of the word can be that purple color. Let's go ahead and we'll just start by getting our leopard print. So I'll go up to um, Elements. I can do a search for leopard print. I can grab graphics and the very first one is a good one here because it's going to allow me to change the colors. And so really all I'm looking for is I'm gonna pick a yellow color, which I've already done. Um, the uh, inside brown here is going to be a nice green color. I'm looking for Mardi Gras colors. And then of course, this is going to be a nice black color. And so there we go, I've got my Mardi Gras. Now all you really need to do for this is figure out how big you want, I guess, the leopard prints to be. So for example, if I shrink this down so it's close to the size of the M, 
what you're going to see is it's going to be really tightly packed. And so if I was to go ahead and go up to the top where we see those checkered prints and take that transparency down a little bit, now I can see that M underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my page real good. We can see um, how kind of tight the print is there. And so the smaller I make this box, the tighter that print is going to be. Um, if I want it to be a little bit larger, I can go ahead and sort of resize it like that and make it as large as I want. So, you know, somewhere around that size there. And so you can play with how big or how small you want it to be. So if I wanted really big prints, I could do it like that. And so it's just entirely up to you and what you like. But once you've gone ahead and picked a size that you think is going to look pretty good, all we're going to do here is we're going to have to crop it. So I'm going to go over to this a little square here where it says crop. And then I'm going to go ahead and just well, start here, just crop it down a little bit so I can make it a little bit easier to work with. Should have moved it that way more. But actually, let me go ahead and crop from the other side. So hit crop and I'm going to crop it in here and I'm going to crop it to about halfway through the letter and that will work perfectly. So just like that. And now all I'm going to do is hit control D that's going to duplicate it. And I'm going to go right over to my next letter. And what I can do is make sure I've got it lined up good with the side. And then again, I'm going to hit crop. Oops, so, and I'm going to crop it to about halfway through the letter. Perfect. And repeat, hit control D. I'm going to bring that one over to where I want it on the left hand side. So it's covering that. And then again, hit crop, crop to about wherever I think halfway through the letter is, or at least make sure I'm covering up, you know, half of the R there. And so that's good. Hit control D again and just keep kind of duplicating that. That one actually looks fine the way it is. One more time. This one. Oops, I'm gonna come right here. One more cropping on this one. Crop to about, oops, halfway through the letter. And so we just repeat until we've got all of them covered. And so I just do the same thing for the bottom and just cover everything. So once you have um, half of your letters all covered up and it looks pretty good, I can go ahead then and just get rid of the transparency on all of these. So I can just hit each one of them, go back up to transparency, get rid of the transparency there. So that's all pretty easy to do. Get rid of the transparency, get rid of the transparency on each of them. And boom. So all I would have to do then is go ahead and download this. Um, so we'll download this one here. Um, I'm going to title it Mardi Gras Mask. And I can go up to the top, hit download. Um, it doesn't need to be a transparent background for the mask, so you can just leave it as is, PNG. Make sure you just have whatever page you want. If you've got multiple pages open, go ahead, hit download. And then we just need to do the frame to do the frame, which you could have done first and probably would have been faster and easier. But let's say we just want to go ahead and duplicate this page. And then we're just going to go ahead and pull off all the leopard prints. And then this will go ahead and be our frame here. And so just make sure we don't move any of the fonts. We can go ahead, Mardi Gras frame right there. The frame does need to be a transparent background. So from here, I can go ahead, hit download. I can hit transparent backgrounds and I can go ahead, make sure I'm on the page that I want and download that. So I've got my mask and my frame. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and jump over to photo P. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, photo P is just another site for graphic design. It's totally free which is awesome. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to create an account. You don't have to do anything but type photop.com into your browser. You will get this page. From here, you're just going to go ahead, hit that middle button that says open from computer. That will pull up your downloads. And then from there, go ahead and start by selecting your frame first. So pick your Mardi Gras frame and hit open. It'll open it. And you should have your Mardi Gras frame right here. Now from here, you're going to go over to the top left-hand side of the page where you see file. Three spaces down, it's going to say open and place. So that's the one you want to click. 
it'll pull up your downloads again. And this time you're going to go ahead and select the mask and hit open. And it's going to put your mask right on top of your frame. So it should look just like this. You should only be able to see your mask right here. But if you look over the side here where you see your layers, you'll notice the background layer. It'll say background. That's going to be your frame. And then the top layer, that's going to be your mask. And that should be the one that's highlighted right there. Assuming those things are all true, go to the top where you see layer. And about halfway down, it'll say clipping mask. So you can go ahead and click clipping mask. And it's going to put the mask right over the frame. So there you go. So now I've got that awesome font that I like. From here, I can go file. I can export as. It's a PNG. It's going to pull up this little box. I can rename it up here if I want to. So I can do Mardi Gras leopard or whatever you want to call it. It's still a PNG, still 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. All I have to do is hit save. It's going to save that over to my downloads. And now I'm going to jump right back over to my Canva page. So now that I am on Canva again, I can go down and make another page. So I can hit add page right here. And now we're going to go ahead and upload what we just made. So I can go over to the left-hand side where it says uploads, click there. I can go ahead and hit upload files. It's going to pull up my downloads and now I can upload the Mardi Gras leopard print that I just got off of Photopea. Click on that and it's going to pull it up. So now here I've got my Mardi Gras. Now if I really want it to look more like the one that was on Creative Fabrica, that one had a little bit of a black outline around it. So no worries, I can put a black outline around this. I can now go to edit. And I can go down to effects and you're going to see shadows from there. You can pick outline and now you're going to have to scroll down a little bit. And what you're going to see is you can pick the size and you can pick the color. So I like the color. We'll keep it black, um, but we're going to bring that size way down. So it's a nice thin outline. So it doesn't have to be anything too thick. So right now that is set at an eight and that's probably pretty good. So you can play with that a little bit. And I'm going to blow this up nice and big so you can see it, right? So there, now I've got my Mardi Gras and it looks pretty similar, though I think better than the one on Creative Fabrica. Now I would like these two lines to be a little closer together. I could have done that originally, or all I have to do here would be hit control D. So I've got two copies and with two copies, I can take the bottom one and crop up. So I just have the Marty. And then I can take this one, crop down. So I just got the gross. So now I've got two different images. And so from there, I can size them however I want. So let's say I want the Marty to be pretty big across the page, center it. So there I can take the gross. And now what I can do, if I could make it bigger if I wanted to, again, center it, put them as close together as I like them. So let's say I think that that looks good. Now what I could do is I could group them together. So I can click anywhere like in the corner of the page and hold that down, highlight over both of them and hit group. And now I've got one thing that I can move around. So stick that somewhere centered in the page. And now let's go ahead and just make this a design. Let's put happy Mardi Gras. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard again. So I pull up a text box. I'll just type in happy. Oops, move it up where I can see it. And then I'm thinking, let's go ahead and make this some sort of a scripty font. So to do that, I can go over to fonts um, and I can, you know, search through fonts. So I can search script if I know that that's what I want. And I can search through different scripty fonts and try different things out and see how they look and just play with it that way. If I know the name of what I want, those are all kind of weird, I can go ahead and type it in. So if there is a font and you know what you like and you know the name of it, well, then it's easy to type in. This one is, let's see, Chris Nolan. Uh, Chris Nolan right there. And so easy enough. Now I can make that nice and big. I also had it angled a little bit too. So if I maybe angle it, I'm thinking maybe like five degrees, four or five degrees there. And again, make that somewhat big, center it in the page there. And that looks pretty good. So that could be a design that you would then put on a t-shirt pretty easily. So all I would have to do from here is I'll title this page and I'll title it happy. Oops. Mardi Gras. And we'll go ahead and we're going to download. 
It's going to be a transparent background. It is a PNG. We only want page three here. So just select page three, hit done, and then download. And now this is ready now to go onto a shirt, a sweatshirt, a tank top. I mean, pretty much whatever you want to put it on, a tote bag. I mean, you can put it up on anything at this point. And so that was just my way of sort of recreating that font that I saw. So if you want to do a little comparison, so this one is mine. And this is the one that was on Creative Fabrica here. And again, I actually like the color of mine better. <laughs> it might just be me, but I think that mine pops a little bit more. I do like the colors a little bit better. They're a little bit lighter. Anyways, that's pretty easy to do. You can do that with any font that you want. That's just one way of putting a clipping mask over the letters. Of course, you could do a different clipping mask on each letter if you wanted to. You could do clipping masks top to bottom. So you could cut the letters in half top to bottom where the, half, where the top is leopard and the bottom is purple. Um, you could do different clipping masks on each word where just the top word is one clipping mask and the bottom of the word is another clipping mask. Um, um, but anyways, I've got my design. It looks good. It's, it's ready to go because you guys were so patient and waited until the end of the video. I do have my bonus five niches for you guys. Okay. So as promised, here are your five bonus niches for being so patient. All right. And these are bonus niches that are for March. So right now is a great time to start designing for things that are going on in March. And so each one of these is corresponded to March. So the first one is pirate and that pie is pie like 3.14. Pie day is of course, March 14th. And so there's all sorts of fun pie day shirts you can make. And so pirate is just one of them. Uh, the second one, I make cerebral palsy look good. Um, it is cerebral palsy awareness month. Um, ribbon color for that is going to be green. Number three, you can't spell clumsy without MS. It is also MS awareness month. So that's multiple sclerosis. And the ribbon color for that is orange. The fourth one, I'm downright perfect. And this is for Down syndrome day. Down syndrome day is going to be March 21st um, because there are three of the 21st chromosomes in Down syndrome. And then number five, I wear purple for epilepsy awareness and there is um, epilepsy's purple day in March. And so these are all different um, things that you can be working on right now for March. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, throw those in the, um, the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I am working on creating a print on demand course, but it is going to take me probably a few months to get that up. Um, in the meantime, I do have a bonus list of niches for you guys. So if you go to the um, uh, description um, for this video, the very top tab should um, should be a link so that you guys can get a free list of evergreen niches and of seasonal niches. So it was over 200 niches that you guys can be working on to keep you going. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope your sales are doing good. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.